for best user experience with text. Material Design recommends using a dynamic type instead of smaller type sizes or truncating larger size text. We made this much easier to implement with the introduction of text view auto sizing. Let's see how to use it, how to customize it, and what caveats you need to be aware of. With Android O and Jetpack, text view gained a new property, auto size text type, which allows you to optimize the text size when working with dynamic content. To enable auto sizing, set auto size text type to uniform. This scales text uniformly on horizontal and vertical axes, ignoring the text size attribute. When using Jetpack, make sure you use the app namespace. Note that you should not use wrap content for layout width or layout height for a text you set to auto size, since well, it may produce unexpected results. Instead, use match parent or a fixed size. Turn off auto sizing by selecting none instead of uniform. You can also use auto size programmatically like this. If you want to customize your text view more, we have some extra attributes for you auto size min and max, text size and step granularity. The text view will scale uniformly in the range between the minimum and the maximum size in increments of step granularity. If you don't set these properties, the default values will be used. Programmatically, these values can be set via this method. To have more control over the final size, if, for example, your app needs to comply with specific text size design guidelines, you can provide a list of sizes, and it will use the largest one that fits. Create an array with the sizes in your resources, and then set the auto size preset sizes attribute in the XML. Or do this in code by providing an array of preset sizes and their unit. Using dynamic sizes for text views makes your app more interesting and helps your users decode content quickly. So start using the auto size property, fine tune it as you see fit, and improve your user experience.